Hello, this time we are going to test the entry-level video card, which should replace AMD Radeon R7 260 and become a worthy rival to NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750. Would it be so or not? Let's see in our current review. Having tested almost all of the video cards from Radeon R9 300 line, we finally got to the entry-level model as AMD Radeon R7 360. Its recommended price was named in $109. The model is based on the new graphics processor AMD Tobago. Although, to tell the truth, the name is the only thing that is new, and its microarchitecture fully complies with AMD Bonaire chip, which has been successfully implemented in Radeon R7-60. Its first release was implemented in Radeon HD 7790 back in 2013. In other words, there is nothing in the way if you buy the GPU AMD Tobago. Nevertheless, it would be wrong to say that the video card R7360 is just a relabeled copy of R7260. Firstly, the new product has quite an additional gigabyte of memory, which would allow it to cope better with modern games. Secondly, we have an increase of the GPU and video memory frequencies by 50 and 500 MHz respectively. And thirdly, R7360 has got support of the entire modern API including DirectX 12 as well as of the latest license technologies. Of course, all of these shall contribute to a certain performance gain, and we are going to know how high it could be by testing a model from HIS. HS R7 360i Cooler OC 2GB comes in a small package. Traditionally, all of the main features of the graphics card are marked here, the main of which are a factor of a clocking and supporting of 2GB GDDR5 memory. Inside, we have found a standard set of any low-cost solution, a CD with drivers and utilities as well as a user's manual. The video card is based on a printed board with a standard layout with some decorative changes in GPU voltage inverter. It implements a four-phase scheme while the memory power controller uses a single phase. PWM controller function is implemented by combination of two chips. Looking ahead, we shall know that they have no support for the software vault modification, in other words, during the graphics card overclocking it is impossible to change the GPU voltage supply. The vital memory subsystem of 2GB overall capacity is implemented by means of four SK Hynex chips, which effective performance speed makes 6500 MHz. All of them have been brought to the front side of the PCB, but they have no direct contact with the cooler bottom. The manufacturer has used a version of AMD Tobago graphics processor overclocked by 20 MHz, which should provide certain although minimal one advantage over similar models with reference frequencies. An extra power is supplied through one 6-pin PCIe jack. The interface panel includes four ports for the image output. There is also a support for 4K Ultra HD resolution as well as possibility to connect up to three monitors directly or up to six ones using the MST switch. The cooler has a fairly simple design compared to the modern standards. Its main component is an aluminum bar with a massive core from which the fan-like ribs divaricate. 87mm apistic fan is used for the blowout. The plastic icing plays almost no role in the airflow distribution and is used rather for decoration. Such a coolant system covers two standard slots for expansion cards in the computer case. It should be noted that there is also a segregate aluminum radiator designed for heat removal from the power converter elements. The graphics processor was heated up to 68 degrees during the stress test with the automatic speed control of the fan blade. The result is quite acceptable, taking into consideration a relatively quiet operation of the video card in this mode. At idle mode, the power consumption and the GPU frequency are decreasing, thereby reducing the cooling system load. The GPU heating in this case makes 34 degrees, wherein the accompanying noise could be described as very quiet. The video card Radeon R7 360 was conceived as a competitor to the GeForce GTX 750. However, AMD did not take into account realities of the local component markets. In some countries, GTX 750 Ti gets into the same price range, $130-$140. 
Accordingly, the models based on R7 360 will have hard times at sales starting because JTX 750Ti has better performance at a comparable cost. Results of the test showed that the gap makes 11% on average, and these are the indicators of the reference version only. Obviously, the OC versions of 750Ti, which are sufficiently available for sales, would outgo far ahead. Also, solutions based on the JTX 950 could prevent the market advance of R7 360. Sure, they cost $40 or $60 more, but at the same time they show better performance by 56% on average. It is quite possible in this situation that a certain part of users would agree to save up some money and to buy a more powerful graphics adapter. If we analyze the results relative to the model line of AMD video cards, then the new product is quite predictably behind R7 370 by 37% on average. But a more important thing is that it was able to catch up with Radeon R7 260X. Let us remind that in the fullness of time it became faster than R7 260 by 10% approximately. It means that AMD Radeon R7 260 upgrading program has given real positive results. HIS R7 360A Cooler OC 2GB has no possibility to change the graphics core power supply. Moreover, it cannot even control it. Nevertheless, this did not affect overclocking capacity of the video card. It was possible to overclock it from nominal 1070 MHz to 1215 MHz, which corresponds to an increase of 13.6%. After optimization of the video memory parameters, the result appeared even more impressive, plus almost 24%. Memory chips have been overclocked from 6500 MHz to 852 MHz. During the testing, the fan speed was possibly fixed at the maximum level. The temperature of the graphics processor made 55 degrees at 100% load. Productivity gain made 13.7% after manual optimization of the parameters. This is a very sound result which would be definitely noticed while playing games. The only thing you would have to put up with is the increased noise from the video card. The very video card AMD Radeon R7 360 is rather an interesting solution. Its productivity is quite enough to run modern games at medium graphics settings and available memory of 2GB allows you not to worry about appearing of freezes at Full HD resolution. Also, we should note that due to the high overclocking capacity and relatively low TDP level, the manufacturers have a great opportunity for further improvements of the reference solutions. The model HIS R7 360A Cooler OC 2GB could be an example where the graphics core frequency is 20 MHz higher compared to the standard version. At the same time, the developers have managed to implement a fairly simple cooling system, thereby reducing the final cost of the graphics adapter. However, the price was still significantly higher relative to the recommended $109, which currently negates the advantages above. As the range of $130-$140 is the very range where we can find GeForce GTX 750 NVIDIA Ti. And here the new product cannot compete with it, giving in to it in performance about 10-12%. Shortly, the models based on R7 360 do not have much chance to succeed at the very sales beginning. Fans of the red have to wait only for a price decrease, since it is hardly possible to expect that NVIDIA would withdraw from the market one of its most popular cards in the near future. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!